Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio. I love technology. I'm super excited and super pumped about the new Mac OS Sequoia. I've been playing around with it for a while and I've got to say, I am super impressed. I feel like this is a significant jump up from earlier versions of Mac OS. It looks brilliant. Hey, subscribe, click on this button on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our video releases. We release videos on all things technology, including the Mac. Also, if you wanna know more about technology in general, different sorts of stuff on tech, I've got training courses on lots of topics so you can watch those down below in this video description. What are the five favorite things that I found in Mac OS Sequoia? Now, here's the thing, there's a lot more, but I just condense this down. Now it really depends on what browser you're using, whether you're using the Google, whether you're using the Firefox, or if you're using Safari, well now we've got a full Safari piece that allows you to just do better, smarter Safari browsing. You've got Safari highlights, essentially leveraging this AI to detect and highlight key information on your website. Highlight phone numbers, directions, things like this. You've also got this new Safari reader, and we've now got this new feature called viewer mode. Like if you're familiar with AirPlay or picture in picture, well now you can do this directly from within in your browser. Now, back in the day, Apple used to use a solution called Keychain, which was sort of built into Mac OS. This is essentially a rammed up, beefed up version of the Keychain, but it's so much better than that. Allows you to save all your passwords, your credit card information, all of these sort of things in one simple application. So now you have full end-to-end -end encryption between all of your devices, between your iPhones, iPads, and your Mac OS computers. You like gaming, I like gaming, and now we've got a improved game mode within Sequoia better FPSs or frame rates per second, improvements around spatial audio in your AirPods. And now you've got these awesome new toolkits that allow you to bring essentially all of these high quality Windows games to your Mac ecosystem. Sometimes, sometimes I want to just be able to access my iPhone from absolutely anywhere without having to take it out of my pocket. I've got it in my bag, right? And it's like, ah, oh, I want to play my latest game or I've just got a WhatsApp message. Ah, oh, how do I access this from my computer? You can't because it's on your phone. What if there was a way to actually access and manage your phone directly from your computer? This is called iPhone mirroring. So from your laptop, for example, from your MacBook, your MacBook Pro, you can now fully access and interact with your iPhone, leave it inside of your bag, leave it locked away, leave it inside of your pocket. Now you can fully interact the same way as if you are physically on your iPhone, but you're doing it from the Mac itself. We've been using AI now for a little while. It is exponentially growing and a lot of companies are starting to use AI more and more and more. Now, Apple has been working on the AI technology for quite some time. They've now finally said, we're gonna be releasing AI integrated into our Apple devices, our phones, our iPads, but also our Macs. And this is through Mac OS Sequoia. Within like the text, like the notes area, you've got a full writing tool section where you can adjust the writing. You can do proofreading, you can rewrite sentences. I'm sure you're familiar with all of these text AI platforms already, but now this is fully built into our Mac OS, which makes the experience so much better. It's built into mail, it's built into third-party applications, and I'm sure it'll be built into a lot more apps as the months roll in. Now, of course, we've seen those uh, apps, right? That can actually create images for us, create animations, create sketches, illustrations, things like this from your photos and from your images. And now you can use Image Playground built into messages, built into a standalone app, allowing you to now easily do this directly within Mac OS. And of course, a lot of people at this stage are gonna be a little bit hesitant about AI because AI ultimately has access to a lot of your data. Apple have said that all of your data is gonna be handled securely. All of the activity that AI is gonna be doing will be done locally on the device, not going outside of your device, not going out to the cloud. Now here's the one thing you just gotta be aware of, is that the Mac devices are only so powerful, right? And sometimes some, some of these AI commands require a lot more grunt, a lot more power. So in some cases, your computer may need access out to the cloud to perform some of these AI functions. You will be able to control it. You'll be able to say, no, I don't want that to happen. Apple has guaranteed end-to-end -end encryption from device to the cloud. 
Now there are more, there's a lot more features apart from these. You've also got Windows tiling, you've got a revamped Photos app, you've got a new space around collaboration for files, new interactive widgets for your desktop. There's this awesome new presenter preview, essentially helps you with video conferencing. Preview things before they are shared out. The list goes on, Mac OS Sequoia is the bomb. Do you like that background? They're new backgrounds. Really vintage, really retro, love it. They're built into Mac OS Sequoia too. Go check it out if you don't already have it. Go and upgrade it if you don't already have it. And that's it for this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video.